Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Georgia Bulldog fans coming on the recruiting trail as five-star quarterback Jared Curtis in the 2026 class commits to this Georgia program. And I think this is massive for a couple of different reasons. One, Jared Curtis in the ceiling that he has is extraordinarily high. You're talking about a quarterback at 6'4", 225 pounds, will make some throws on the film that are truly just jaw-dropping and kind of special in terms of you don't see a lot of quarterbacks have the arm talent that Jared Curtis has. But I think the thing that excites me the most is getting a quarterback locked in this early in the 2026 class is only going to help this Georgia program recruit the offensive skill around the quarterback. That's one thing that we would like to see Georgia maybe take it up a notch on the recruiting trail. These wide receivers want to make sure they're going into good offenses with quarterbacks that can get them the football. Jerry Curtis locking in his commitment this early for Georgia is absolutely massive for what it's going to look like recruiting these wide receivers in that 2025, in that 2026 class. Want to dive into Jerry Curtis, take a look at the film, talk about what he brings to this Georgia offense. Extremely excited to get into it before we do it as always. Just want to say thank you to you guys and a massive shout out to the Georgia Bulldog fans. It is no secret. We talk a lot about this program on the recruiting trail. That's what happens when you recruit the way Kirby Smart and this Georgia program do. I have a blast doing it. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, Let's get into Jared Curtis, and I'll start with this. Obviously, Georgia, Ohio State, kind of the two programs really in on Jared Curtis. As a Michigan fan, Georgia did us a solid, right? Keeping Jared Curtis out of the Big Ten, absolutely massive for Michigan. Now, getting into Jared Curtis, the thing that really stands out to me about Jared Curtis is the kind of the box checking ability that he has, right? When you start going through the checklist of what you want with top quarterbacks heading to the college football level, Big body. He has a massive arm, especially when he's attacking the deeper third. But some of the intangibles that he possesses that we'll see on the film, that's kind of what makes Jared Curtis most special for me. This is a guy that when something is breaking down, he has the athleticism to extend plays, keep his eyes down the field. And if nothing's there, he is a guy that is certainly athletic enough to make it happen with his own legs. 6'4", 225 with athleticism like he has. He is a load for high schoolers to bring down. And then probably my favorite aspect of Jared Curtis is the ability to throw off platform, right? And you're seeing that become a very important aspect of playing the quarterback position. I mean, this is a college landscape where you're trying to get players out in space and having a quarterback that can run those play action bootlegs that can extend plays, throw on the run, throw off platform is becoming extremely important. You look at some of the top quarterbacks, not only at the college level, but the NFL level, when it comes to getting out of the pocket and extending plays, giving your wide receivers a second chance to get open, that's very important. And when you have the ability to throw off platform on time and accurately to your wide receivers, that's massive. And Jerry Curtis certainly has that ability. Now, turning on the film, you'll kind of see just kind of what we're talking about in terms of special arm talent. The first play you see here, I'm just kind of showing off the, the howitzer that he has. He is effortlessly throwing this football 60 plus yards down the field on a dime. He has arm talent and arm strength that are extremely rare for a guy that, again, this is, we're taking a look at the sophomore year highlights here. That's how, how impressive he is so early on in the developmental arc. Now, second play you see, probably the most impressive throw you'll see on the film where when I mean, you're throwing off platform, you're rolling out, you got to throw this ball with touch and accuracy right on the back shoulder. One spot where your wide receiver can make a play on it. Jerry Curtis certainly doing that. And then you see the ball handling. You see the ability to make something happen when things are breaking down, the athleticism to make it happen yourself. And again, you're talking about someone who's 6'4", 225 pounds. He's a load to bring down when extending those plays. Again, off platform, pushing the ball down the field, extremely impressive. He can layer it in there. He can rope it in there. I think the amount of different ways Jerry Curtis – can make things happen with his arm. Extremely impressive. This is probably the second, my second favorite throw when you're checking out the film, right? One, showing the ability to break the pocket, deal with some contact, keep your eyes downfield, 
and then throw a football where you're on the run, no base, and throw it on a line right to your wide receiver in stride. Those are the things that make quarterbacks extremely special. Jerry Curtis just exemplifies all of those kind of things. And again, when he is attacking the deeper third, he is putting it right right where you kind of need it to be, right finding that honey hole. Extremely impressive attacking that deeper third, pushing the ball down the field. You see him layer it in there sometimes. You'll see him zip it in there sometimes. The variety of the speeds and the platforms that he can throw the football, very, very impressive. He's a guy that not only is just a box checker, he's a guy that can make stuff happen that not a lot of other quarterbacks in this 2026 class can make happen. Again, phenomenal athlete. I would encourage Georgia fans to go out and check the rest of this film. It Really, you're talking about a special quarterback with those elite traits. Now, getting into what this quarterback room is going to look like for Kirby Smart and this Georgia program going over the next couple of years, you have Ryan Puglisi coming in that 2024 class. 2025 doesn't have a quarterback locked up. I want to talk about a few prospects that George has taken an eye on. And then Jerry Curtis in 2026. So you feel really good about Ryan Puglisi. Again, I'm a huge fan of him. I think he was just kind of undervalued in it. A lot of the attention went to Dylan Raola in that Georgia class. Ryan Pugger was just kind of sitting there saying he is a gamer. I think he wins a lot of a lot of games for this Georgia program. And then in the 2025 class, it really seems like Kirby Smart has identified Julian Lewis as one of those top quarterbacks on their board. And why I think that would be such an interesting fit is when you have Jared Curtis, who I think the sky's the limit for Jared Curtis. If it all pans out the right way, you're looking at – maybe a, a top five NFL draft pick. And Julian Lewis, certainly with that same capability, but a little bit more of a safer quarterback. This is a guy that, again, if you are a Georgia high school fan, if you are following the recruiting trail, you've known Julian Lewis's name for the last three years. A guy that's a winner, a guy that is extremely productive at the high school level, and a guy that you don't have many question marks about going to the college landscape. Julian Lewis an extremely high floor as a prospect, Jerry Curtis, an extremely high ceiling. That's exactly how you want that quarterback room to look. And again, going back to what we started with, and that is Kirby Smart getting a quarterback locked in this early, going to be massive for recruiting the talent around the quarterback position. I think your biggest selling point to wide receivers coming out of high school is, hey, look at the quarterbacks that are going to be getting you the football Guys like Jerry Curtis, potentially Julian Lewis, Ryan Puglisi, really talented quarterback room. I think that certainly helps the wide receiver room and the wide receiver recruiting. Wanted to hop on, give you guys some updates on Jerry Curtis. Appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.